um, women in the context of affirmative action or in the context of um, Mr. The, Speaker, what you feel about the Supreme Court determination? Uh, the the, the uh, memorandum has several issues. One is the issue of gender, the issue of CDF, the issue of CS appearing in this house. But Mr. Speaker, when I was given chance, what I was discussing currently is in the public domain. I doubt if there is standing order which is barring me from mentioning something even which every church, Mr. Speaker, is talking about. I'm a Christian, and I cannot sit down and talk about gender issue without mentioning. You know, we want to mainstream the issue of gender. But when they are messing up, we should not even increase them in that way, Mr. Speaker. The best way is we need to support, empower women so that they can also be elected like Adagala here, who has not been uh, honorable Adagala, who has not been nominated. This is he's serving her second term. If women are empowered, many of them will be elected. Mr. Speaker, on the, <laughs> on the, issue, on the issue of CDF, Mr. Speaker, Kindly, Mr. Speaker, let us expedite the Honorable issue Sarah, of... Honorable Masara, just, just a minute. I'll, I'll add you time, don't worry. Uh, our standing order number 87 forbid discussing the conduct of a judge and uh, those other state officers that they are in unless there is a substantive motion therefore. And, and, and so to the extent that you did... Uh, if that will be confirmed by our system, I order everything you could have said in that regard to be expunged from the, 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 the answer on the records of Parliament. You may proceed. Don't worry about the light. Okay. You have your right to contribute without undue haste okay. Thank to you, the Mr. matters, Speaker. taking into account also the interruptions we have, we have had against you. Did you say that uh, his time is nearly up? Honorable Peter Masara. But I, I request you compensate me for the time loss during oh, Honorable, Honorable Peter Adagalas. Masara, I know Honorable Adagalas really and We are friends and she's my in-law. I'm yes. married from their area. W what more points? What more points before you veer off from the, from the subject? Uh, what uh, more points and how many minutes are you requesting? If you give me three minutes, I'll be done. Uh, be Honorable done Speaker. within three minutes. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to add my voice on the issue of CDF. Mr. Speaker, CDF is a very important fund in this country. Actually, if you do survey today, CDF funds uh, cuts across all constituencies. Will, if you do survey, we'll talk about the benefits of CDF. Mr. Speaker, so many student day schools are now in school because of courtesy of CDF. So many old men and women are now going to hospital courtesy of CDF. There are so many classrooms. There are so many police stations. There are so many offices of uh, chiefs and even AC, like in my constituency. The only office where DCC is staying was done by CDF. The, the all force police station, in my, you went there sometimes when we were with you in the Security Committee, Mr. Speaker. All police stations were done by CDF. All laboratory in 24 secondary schools done by CDF. I managed to do 19 schools using CDF money in a span of five years. Mr. Speaker, I want to tell you I'm in this parliament again, courtesy of CDF, because how I utilize it enabled me to persuade the people of Suna West that electing a good leader can give service delivery to them. Therefore, I want to urge that we move with speed to ensure that CDF is part and parcel of this constitution and part of this our country. And if possible, we can suggest to increase even the figures so that many people can benefit and so many, uh, uh, many projects can be done through CDF, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, finally, I want to say that as people of Kenya, let us come out when, when Raila Molodinga called for mass action. Let each and everyone come out. Because through mass action is when a government sitting in executive offices can, can feel the heat of the public. People are really suffering here. Mr. Speaker, this is the first time many hustlers are saying 
how I wish they knew. They would have elected Raila so that they can get 6,000 per month. They can get free education. They can get free health, uh, uh, health care. This is the right time for Kenyans now to compensate for the lost time. Let everybody come, including parliament, the speaker, and everybody, so that we can bring the lost glory of Kenya, where people of Kenya can say they are very happy to be members of this. Uh, the, our, uh, Honorable, Honorable Masara, at some point in time, <laughs> I couldn't remember the motion you are contributing to <laughs> towards the end. But uh, granted, uh, so long as you are able to connect it to the memo from the president, and there is no objection from other members in the house, I will let it go. But we, we must always keep to the rule of relevance. At the Honorable Beatrice Adagala, the Member of Parliament for the Great People of Vega County.